Well, good morning, Grace Center. It's good to be with you this morning. This morning, I have the thought of the day. And this morning, I want to talk to us about taking time to be thankful. And I want to read from Psalms 100, verse 4, from the New Living Translation. It says this, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, and bless his name. I was reading a book some time ago by Graham Cook, and it's called Crafted Prayer. You might have that book. But in, in the book, in the first couple of pages, there was a, there was a statement that, that Graham made that really arrested me. And it was, we don't enter into his gates with prayer, so to speak. We enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And the point that, 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 that got me was, was that so oftentimes I am trying to connect to God uh, through prayer, especially during this, this past uh, season that we've been in with lockdown and uh, all sorts of uncertainty. I'm finding myself in, in especially trying to connect to God through prayer. And most of the times my prayers are actually motivated by fear. But one of the things that I've found through this, this, this verse is that if I could take time first to try to connect to God through thanksgiving, in the thanksgiving is actually the connection. It's, a, it's an amazing thing. And so when I, when I wake up in the morning, I'll go grab a, grab a cup of coffee, I'll uh, sit down in my chair, uh, turn on some music, and try to quiet myself. And before, I would begin to try to connect to God through either reading the Word or, or, or through, or through you know, praying in the Spirit. And there's nothing wrong with that. But it wasn't until I uh, read this verse in, in Psalms 100 that we just read that we enter into His gates with thanksgiving. And so as I begin to think about connecting to God, and actually I, I picture that, I picture walking into His gates uh, into, into the gates of his presence or into the gates of heaven, however you want to, however you want to picture it. But I enter in with thanksgiving. And uh, the, the things that I'm thankful for, sometimes, sometimes, believe it or not, thanksgiving for me has been such a powerful tool that maybe for 30 seconds to, I don't know, I don't, I'm not good with time, a minute or two, maybe three, I will just sit there and say thank you over and over. Sometimes I don't even have a thank, thankfulness for what, but just the, just the very words thank you. And, and, and I'll cause my spirit man to relax and to calm down. And as I begin to thank him, I'll thank him for his presence. I'll thank him for his promises. Uh, I'll thank him for, uh, Lord, you, you'll never leave me. You'll never forsake me and I begin to thank him that way, there's an actual connection to God. In the thanksgiving is actually the, connect, the connection to God. I, uh, uh, I wanted to read something. There was, I found a quote by C.S. Lewis. It says that it is in the process of being worshiped that God communicates his presence to men. And there's nothing more important in our daily worship, in our worship, than thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is huge. And so I, I just wanted to leave us with this thought that, that today or this week, if you don't do anything else, take time to be thankful. It is an amazing tool. It is an amazing connection. In the thankfulness, you will sense his presence. In the thankfulness, he will begin to show up in peace and the peace that passes all understanding. And so, uh, so that's a very simple thought for this week. It's a very simple thought for you. But the thought again is to take time to be thankful. Thankfulness is an amazing thing. Paul says in Philippians 4, 6, in the, in the NIV version, he says this, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. So Grace Center, this week, take time to be thankful. Make, make room for it in your prayer life. Actually start your day off, start your prayer life off with thanksgiving. I think you'll be amazed at how, what, as to what it does for our relationship and what it does with our connection with God. God bless you this week. 
and we'll talk to you soon.